what is up guys welcome back to the channel again welcome back to a new vlog um we are currently here in mccallan texas trying to load up the uh, trying to load up the truck we've actually been here man for like five hours and a half just trying to load up the truck i got the load i got here last night went to my dad's house you know just took a shower got everything ready hanged out pretty much was chilling there with him all day um and we got we booked our load so i want to say like around 2 p.m and it's 11 o'clock, it's like 11, 10 at night already and I'm still here just waiting, you know? I mean, I'm actually getting loaded, but I've been here, I was outside the location for like four hours or three and a half hours and they gave me my door. It's been, I've been at the door for like an hour and a half already, you know? It should be done anytime soon, but I mean, it is what it is. Anyways, on this trip, we will be going to Pompano Beach. If you guys follow the channel, you guys know that um, I've been coming dead. I've been dead head. Uh, I've been leaving Miami, Florida, dead head all the way to Texas. That's not good. I mean, it, it is what it is. I gotta do what I gotta do because I still gotta put food on my table, right? But um, I mean, hopefully these rates start to pick up because the way everything is is going. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. And to be honest, I'm getting I'm get, I'm getting a pretty fair price going back home. I'm not gonna say it's it's it's, it's good good because I wanna say. When something's good to me, it's above like the four dollars and fifty cents a mile, you know. Um, that's what I consider good. I mean, between four fifty and five bucks a mile, that's what I consider good. Um, something normal, I guess, will be a little bit below that, and then under two fifty a mile, it's just well, the way things are. Under two fifty a mile, it's just not negotiable. You know, it's not something that we can pretty much do and, and profit of. And if you do profit something, it's gonna be very, very small. Um, eventually, if you, if you do that too much, it's not good at all. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Right now, I'm finding myself in the situation that since I'm coming back dead head, that's really killing me because I got to pump fuel coming this way out of my own pocket without making any profit. But I mean, it is what it is. And the biggest issue we have is that there is no loads down in Florida. I mean, it's so hard for me to find loads down in Florida. It's not even funny. And when I do find, Hell, I get off for 900 bucks, 1200 bucks coming over here to Texas. It's like, how do you do that? Like, how do people do that? You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't understand how people can book loads that cheap when a tire is 700 bucks on the road or 800 bucks with the road, with the road car. Uh, insurance is expensive. Fuel is super expensive. Like, how do you book, you know, how do you book that? I know some people have the mentality that, oh, at least I'm getting something in, I'm getting something back, but. That's the reason why the way that's the reason why everything in the industry is the way it is because you can't think like that you got to think that i'm not going to book it and then that's it you get me if we all thought the same way or at least close to that you know that we don't book cheap freight then a lot, a lot of things will change but as long as we have people in big companies booking all these cheap freight i mean all they're going to do is pretty much is, is keep dragging us down you know but anyways Long story short, we already know it, so it is what it is. We gotta keep working. We gotta do. We gotta do what we gotta do, cause we gotta feed our family, and that's all we can do, right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be driving to, to uh, Baytown, Texas today. Today is Monday night. I delivered Thursday. She said from like seven in the morning to like one p.m. or something. Like that. So I got plenty of time to get over there. I got um, what else? What else? I'm going to Pompano, so right after that, I'm probably just gonna go home and you know go go ahead and go home, you know. I'm only like half an hour away from home. I'm gonna be installing tomorrow in Baytown. I'm gonna see if I can install this, the new extended shifter, that, the little extension that I bought for the shifter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be installing it. I bought, it. I brought it and I haven't been able to, to do it. I actually got the lines as well to install it. So this time around, we shouldn't have any issues at all with our lines and stuff like that. So anyway, anyways, what I said, um, as soon as they're done, I'm gonna go ahead, do my premium inspection, make sure everything is good and hit the road. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something out of my nightmares, standing right there. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you are like a taunt. Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings 
You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed but you keep me on red Oh, Everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay it down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Thinking something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Just crossed the, the border patrol right here, look I don't, know, I don't know if I showed you guys I think I have, but for new subscribers Find you suspicious, they uh put your truck in there. They already know if they see anything in that machine, then they pull you, they turn you back into these docks right here, and they start putting stuff out. Man, it's pouring. Can't go above 55 miles per hour, man. It's so so rainy. It's like driving at night with rain. All right, guys. So this is the next day here. Um, I was planning on doing some stuff to the truck here in Baytown. Remember, I said I was gonna do the shifter. I also gotta fix a light back there. But unfortunately, it's raining. So I mean, I don't wanna get wet. I already got wet doing the pre-trip inspection, making sure that we didn't have any issues at all. And I don't wanna get wet. The last thing I wanna do is, is, is get sick. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, head out. I'm gonna go across the street right quick to buy me some coffee or something, maybe something to eat, and then I'm gonna head out after that to see how this day takes us. I currently have 1,133 miles to go to our destination down in Pompano. That's 17 hours and 13 minutes away. So that means that if I drive my 10 hours or 11 hours today, I only got uh, another, what, six hours and a half to go or something like that. So we'll see how everything goes. We are gonna be stopping. This is Baytown, an hour and a half, like two hours, two hours to like 15 minutes from here. So we go ahead and, and, and fill up our tanks, make sure that we are good to go. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something as well. The scale take it from yesterday. Okay, so on the front axle, on the steers, we have 11,380. In the fifth wheel, which is back here, we have 33,820 pounds. That means that if I obviously by fuel, I'm gonna go over the weight. And then I have in my back tandems 33,920. So that means technically I cannot fool up my tanks. The good thing is that when I went to pull fuel, I had close, I didn't have full tanks. That's, I wanna say I had like three quarter tanks. So if I fuel, all that, I'm gonna be eating it up anyhow, so we should be good, technically. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I have, what, 180 pounds of difference. That's, I don't know how many gallons that is, but if I bring it back up to three quarter tanks, I still have 33,820. I can add a little more and be, you know, right at 34, give or take. Um, gross weight is 79,120. And that is, you guys can see right there but that is guys with 20 pallets of tomatoes usually i don't like to carry it like this because i don't have uh, room for fuel but i mean she said that the order was like that and pretty much we couldn't fix it so it is 
whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, let's go across the street to the Flying J because we are at the TA and uh, let's go from there. Let's go from there. Let's get this day started to see how everything goes. All right, guys, so we stopped here in uh, exit 23, Louisiana, like I said. Pumping some fuel now with the mud flap code. Let me show you guys. I've been here for like an hour and a half, two hours. Took a little nap. And I also installed the shifter extended, st extender, extension. I don't know, whatever you call that. The reason why I put on these uh, bandanas that I had was, uh, if I like it, I'm going to keep it. But what I'll do is that I'll flip the little quick connect that it has right down here, somewhere in there. I'll put them under the boot so that way you can only see the wires and I can take that off. Or maybe buy something to cover that whole tube. But we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. Other than that, I mean, I moved it like from the you know I moved it from the from the spot over there, from the parking spot to over here. I don't know. Let's see how I feel about it once I start hitting the road. Let's see if, uh, if, if it feels comfortable. I had, this is a nine inch. I had the six inch and I think the six inch is gonna be more comfortable. But I don't know where I put it at. I had it somewhere inside the truck and I don't know what happened to it. So, I mean, I guess that, I guess that if it's too, too, uh, what do you call it? If it's uh, too long, I can go ahead and always go back to the, the, the six inch, right? By finding, or go back to stock. Back to stock is like down here. My stock height, I like it. I like the I like my stock height to be honest. Uh, the only reason why I did this was because I wanted to do something a little different. But I mean, I think that just by by already moving it from from where I was parked to here, I think that it is any, anything above this right here is just too much. Those big shifters that people have, to me personally, I think it's it's just too much. Just by moving the truck a few feet away, you know. But um, I guess we'll try and I'll keep you guys posted on it to see how, how everything works for me. We're here on this, uh, what is this, 18 mile bridge they have here in Louisiana. Check out the shifter. I can say that, I mean, maybe since the shifter's higher now, the way of shifting did change a bit. I mean, obviously there's 18 speed, so there's, there's different ways you can shift the 18 speed, but I guess just the way that my arm is, I feel like it's cl the shift is closer to my arm now than before. So the way I shift is just, it makes it a little, it feels a little different, but I mean, I guess that, you, you know, it's like the visor, it's gotta get used to it. Um, I definitely like the way that it looks. I can guarantee you that, I definitely like the way it looks. Um, it sits right above the doors, the door panels. Like when you look at the truck from the outside, it sits right, up, right above the door panels, which is exactly what I wanted. So, yep. So we'll see what um, everything happens. Anyways, uh, night finally cleared up. It was raining before, it's finally not raining now, which is good. You guys know how much I dislike driving in the rain. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to make it to X670 there in Florida. Let's see. I am here now, I have like another two hours, 15 minutes to exit, I mean to get out of um, Louisiana, then about another hour in Alabama, sorry, another hour in Mississippi, then another hour in Alabama, and then an hour in Florida, so, well, that's two and a half, give or take, three, four, five and hours and a half to go, so, should be, should be a short night. Clear skies here in uh, Baton Rouge. Alright guys, so it is the next day obviously, we did our pre-trip inspection, everything is good to go, let's head out, let's see how this shifter uh, performs, uh, so that I can show you guys, hopefully you guys can see there. To be honest, so far I like it. The only thing I don't like, obviously, is this right here. You see, uh, it's so short to my shoulder. Like my the way my movement is too short to me. But I mean, not a big deal. Other than that, I feel like I 
can actually shift better. <laughs> it was in there like nothing. Maybe because it's a longer one, I don't know. Maybe since it's extended, I don't know. I like the fact though that if I'm here, somebody's passing by me, I can go like that, you see? I think that's cool. Got my coffee. Try this one. I've had it before, it's real good. It's not it's not by Starbucks, it's made, it's made by somebody else. Alright, so we have 505 miles. That's around 7 hours and 40 minutes. Hopefully, let's see. I do want to make it to, uh, what is it? What's that chrome shop called there on, on 75? Now, not Wildwood, the other one. Rainies, I think it's called. Uh, I want to go there because last week I went to Wildwood looking for the hood latches on the truck. I wanted to buy a smaller one that makes so I can put it on the reefer unit. Um, and they didn't have, they don't sell that there. So supposedly Rainies has it. Not only that, Randy also has the one that goes for the truck. I get up this morning and both of them are broken. So one side is broken, like the actual rubber is broken, and then the other one, the side that goes on the actual the hood, the plastic the thing that looks like a hook on the hood, is broken. So we gotta get the whole kit. Right, guys so we stopped here in rainies rainies or i don't know whatever you say it's the first time i come here um this is the latch for the hood that was that i said it was broken that i had to come and get um unfortunately they do not keep this in stock so i have to go ahead and place it online what i'm gonna do is i took this one off so i'm gonna i'm gonna take the one from the other side off and put it on this side because the one on the other side i'm gonna show you see this right here is good See, but then the plastic here is all cracked, you see? So I'm gonna take this off, put it on that side, and then leave that there for now so that I can get uh, a new set for both sides. And I'm also gonna go ahead and, hopefully if I have time, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put the quick connects that I told you guys that I had here on the shifter. I'm gonna put them towards the bottom under the boot. That way I can take all those red bandanas out. So let's get to it because it seems like we don't have much time. 
All right, guys, this is what I did. I'm not saying this is the best way of doing it, but this is what I did. I put heat shrink on the actual quick connects that were here. That way, um, now when I flip them, when I, when I put these quick connects under the boot, um, there's no particles of dust or nothing getting in there. So yeah, let's lift up this boot and uh, let's swap these cables out. All right, so my idea is not gonna work. My idea was to put these quick connects towards the bottom. But what happens is that those lines are extended already. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. See, these lines are extended. So in order for my idea to work, I would have to get a whole line and then, you know, build it from scratch. In other words, uh, get whatever I need and then do the quick connect down there. Or maybe don't do no quick connect. If I get new lines, I don't need to do quick connects. Uh, just, you know, put the lines straight up. So I would have to get brand new extended lines. I guess the size that it takes from here to down there in order to eliminate all these little things. Sucks. I didn't. I, I totally forgot that that was there. Like that, to be honest. So, uh, I mean, I guess this is building, and it is what it is. I'm gonna leave it like that for now, so I can get those lines, and then once I get those lines, then it is what it is.
below guys let's just move the truck all the way back and that's it we're good check out this big radiator guys that's crazy huh it looks like it has some type of cover but it fell off due to the rust and it ate through the material anyways got my paperwork everything is good I already pulled forward a bit let's put my low locks back in and let's get it going back home everything was good temperature was 51 supposed to be at 52 so I guess that's good right that means that my uh, reefer is doing good it's crazy because right here it says low 50 high 50 but yet the rate confirmation says they wanted at 52 and I asked them they said no keep it at 52 so I guess I meet, I meet them in the middle right <laughs> Good, all set. It's a nice caddy. Guys, don't forget, don't forget. Go, go, uh, go follow me on my Instagram as well. If you, have, if you guys have the need of getting in contact, you can do it through there. Let's go. I need a new set of gloves. Anyways, um, uh, yep, let's go back home, man. I have to leave again tomorrow, so. Let's see if we can book something because the freight here in Florida, no good. All right, guys, so it's been a few days, and um, what a better way than to end the video with Franco. Look at him there. All right, guys, I've asked me for him. Papa? Yeah. Ooh. All right, guys, I've asked me, oh, how's he doing? Um, there he go. It's It's been over a year already, guys, since he was born, believe it or not. It's crazy, so if you guys been here for that long make sure to comment down below let me know how long you guys been on, on the, how long you guys been following the channel he's how happy <laughs> anyways guys just left miami star i went to miami star to pick up some stuff that i needed and i went to rush truck center as well to get the strap to hold down the hood um i bought me a new hat i'll show you guys i'll take that to the truck and i'll show you guys there as well um supporting my boy fod live you know gotta support everybody man what else what else what else it's about it guys if you guys made it this far in the video like i always say make sure to squash that like button guys if you guys have not subscribed make sure to do so it helps me out a lot and it does not cost you guys anything at all as always stay safe and keep on trucking you tired <laughs> peace